Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting game of high school varsity volleyball here on CPHSX. I'm Carl Stafford. Tonight's matchup, your report here on high. Big Reds take on the visiting Utica Chieftains. Just underway now in game number one. Game between two Mac Blue rivals. So trying to pull off a division win here. Long, rally, long rally to start off this game. Far side, Utica. And able to finish that one into the ground. That's Jessica Lodge. Actually the freshman on the team. One of two freshmen for Utica. And now we'll go to er Erica Himmel to serve with the one nothing lead. Again, Carl Staffhorse here, CPHS 6. Another long rally set by Goodwin. Red's trying to play it up the middle, and that one played a little bit too far by the Chieftains, and then into the net. So point to the Big Reds. That'll bring up Miranda Dorr to serve. I serve Utica struggling after this is into the net, and we're gonna get a net foul. It's gonna be a point for the Big Reds. That one, once again, just caught in the in-between land, in-between the nets. And Utica not really with a play on the ball. So the Big Reds now serving. And that one played out of bounds. So Doors going on a bit of a run. As we see the score there, four to one here in game number one again. But these are best three out of five games. Each 25 points a game. It's played by Doors, good win. And now on the near side, East, and that one sends long. Seeing a little bit of a change in the starting lineup for the Big Reds. Unable to handle that serve. The more Davis out there. She started much this year now, at least what we've seen for Channel 6. And only Harms now with the serve. Nice play by Goodwin, just get that over. Held down on the play. Once again, the freshman puts a good strike into it. And Jessica Lodge, nice play, all tied up at four. We're on I unable to dig that one out of the ground. Nice play right up the middle of a Harville, blocked at the net. And then dropped in, nice play by the Big Reds. And they regain the lead five to four. That'll bring Madison Easton back to serve. That serve off the side of her hands, out of bounds, misses wide. So Danielle Kaschalk now will serve for the Chieftains. Set up at the net once again, going to the freshman. Boy, here unable to tip it, and then Easton. Anyway, play, nice job trying to work the net. Door once again able to dig that out. Then Davis, and then right in the middle, going up with some finesse. And Melissa Harville drops one in. Anna Aarons will sub in to serve. And miscommunication on side of Utica. And that will drop in for a point. Now 
now seven to five. Easton hit that one a little funny. Fortunately, her teammates right behind her, and once again, they're going right to the freshman. Like every play is drawn up for Jessica Lodge. And now she'll be back to serve. But the Big Reds will get a little bit of relief with her off the front line. Nice strike from the back row. That was Castjaw. Dropped in, nice save by Davis. Far side going up for the smash. Easton there to set it. Goodwin will send it back. Seems like that far forward position is the position they keep setting up. Maybe regardless of who's in the spot there, all tied up at seven now. At the time it was Erica Himmel. Nice play by Harville. Goodwin's going to have to set this over. Now try going right up the middle. Didn't clear the net and will fall down and sort of go back to the Big Reds. And we'll go to senior Melissa Harville. And Harville's had a a good season, and as Goodwin drops that in, Harville and Goodwin really two of the senior the seniors that really helped this team run along with Easton. And four hits, and it's gonna be a point for the Big Reds. Harville more of a net player, but showing she can do it all. Also pretty effective in the back row and serving, and the Reds once again with another point there. Now off to 11 to seven lead. A nice lineup in there, and great serve, and unable to handle it. So Harville now. Really going on a run serving. And that's what the Big Reds need, another unforced air. Unable to handle that serve, and I wouldn't be surprised if we got a timeout if we do right here, Utica. As the Big Reds are taking a 13 to seven lead. The Big Reds obviously doing well there. Really all parts of that. Everyone in on that lineup doing well. They had Heath up front. Easton was in along with Dorr. Goodwin. And just, and Lindsey Kilbaz. And there we see the Utica Chieftain huddle. Obviously, trying to come out a little stronger out of the timeout, and they got to stop Harville from serving. Unable to handle the last two. And before that, really haven't had much of an answer to stop her after the serves. Slight delay as we meet with our officials, but again, we mentioned both these teams in the MAC Blue Utica Chieftains, 8-20 uh, and 20 overall, and 2-2 two and two in the MAC Blue. And the point here on high, Big Red, 7-12 overall, 1-3 and three in the Blue. So obviously an important conference game for them. As we go over, I believe they're talking about substitutions. If there's any points or anything that would be up for discussion at this point. What a short delay as they figure this out. 
kind of an interesting time. I think they would have done this during the timeout period, but. Seems like everything's squared away, nothing's changed, so I don't believe anyone was at fault, so just short delay and we'll wait for Melissa Harville's serve. They can handle it well this time. Easton's there, set by Goodwin right up the middle. That was Heath trying to make a play on it, and once again, Utica playing that ball a little too far forward and getting it trapped in the net. And now they're off to a seven point lead, 14 to seven. That one deflected off the net, that serve, and then tough recovery from that, almost turned it into the scorer's table to get it. And this is a change from what we've seen from the Big Reds. We've seen a lot of unforced errors and serves. And really kind of causing himself a lot of points, giving a lot of points away, but Harville's really going on a roll here. And nice play up the middle. There, Caitlin Heath, also one of the seniors on this team. Harville, once again, a great serve. And just over the net, Kilboss gets her hands on it. And Utica touched it and couldn't play it again. No one else in the area, so dropped in for an easy point. Now off to a 10-point lead, and that's a huge break for Utica as they finally get Harville off the line and regain their serve. That'll bring up Natalie Sahoski. And her first serve goes right into the net, so serve and point will go back to the Big Reds. And they will send Lindsay Kilboss. She'll rotate back. And once again, we're having problems with the Chieftains. Having trouble handling the serves from the Big Reds. And now they're up 19 to 8. To the far side, attempted that dig and great effort trying to get that one down. Melissa Harville, but unable to handle it. 19 to nine, Big Red's lead here in game number one. So bring Leanna Boldy up. That one's set beautifully. Let's see, Utica scrambling, that's their third hit. So they're gonna be whistled for four hits, unable to get that ball over. And the Big Reds just rolling away with game number one, 20 to nine. Well, that's gotta feel good for a Big Red team that, I mean, they've had their struggles this year. That one played by Utica and just deflected out of bounds. Goodwin back to serve now. Four points away from any game one. That one once again off the side of the hand of, of the Chieftains, 22-9. Substitution as Savannah Ahrens will sub in. And we're gonna get two hits there, trying to play it at the net was Heath. Didn't get enough of her hands on it to send it back over the net. Kind of caught out of position and whistled for two hits there. Killboss plays the serve. Now Easton on the near side. And they're going to say just out of bounds. Look close to paying that line. So score 22 to 11, Big Reds. Here again, game number one. Set up for Easton and unable to get that one over the net. Nice play design, just unable to finish at the net. They'll bring back Erica Himmel again to serve. A little miscommunication. 
Goodwin unable to play that one at the net. Now we see the score 22 to 13. So Utica starting to make a little bit of a comeback, just mainly on errors by the Big Reds as they watch that one sail wide. So they will regain serve. Two points away from winning this, and it will go to Miranda Dorr. Nice low serve. Utica unable to do much with it. Nice play by the freshman just to get that one back. Going up strong at the net is Greg Asevich, and she's typically in for serving, not playing the front line. One of the shorter players on the team. Tough to try to spike that ball at the net. Put a nice effort into it. Nice drop by Aaron's trying to Catch Utica off guard. A little miscommunication, but. And that one unable to get over. So Utica on a little bit of a roll here late. Natalie Harms will serve. Serve, played by Harville, then by Goodwin. And you know, net foul is going to give the point to the Big Reds, and that one fell in anyway. Nice strike by, by Brittany Goodwin. And I'll bring up Mad Madison Easton back 24 15, trying to win game number one. Nice play set up the far side for the freshman. Played a little too far into the net. So it will fall in for a point, and that will do it for game number one. 25-15, big wet, the Big Reds roll. We'll be back for game two in just a moment. They're on CPHS 6. Okay, and we're back with game number two of tonight's matchup. Again, the Port Huron High Big Reds take on the visiting Utica Chieftains. Big Reds rolling in game number one. Really only a 10 point lead. So it's the final score, but they played a lot better than that. Utica kind of struggling really to handle Portier on High's serve, and Portier on High starts off well. Serve was originally by Dorr, and Easton able to put that one away. So Coach Megan Mitchell's got to be happy with her game one performance again, this Mac Blue Rivals. Utica Chieftains currently one slot above the Big Reds in the blue standings. Now off to a 2 nothing lead. And once again, Utica's having a hard time. They're playing a lot of the balls. They're trying to really set up their front line, but they were playing the balls a little bit too hard. And they're having to dig them out of the net, and it's just not, it's just backfiring for them. Player on the field calling out. It was Natalie Sahoski. Thinking out the whole way, and just snuck in and caught the line. Nice serve by Dorr. Off to a 4 nothing lead. Nice block right up the middle by Melissa Harville. And you got to give credit, too, on the strike there from the back row. It's Jessica Lopch. That's a freshman. We saw a lot of really one of the few players that were really on their game in game number one for Utica. It seemed like they were just kind of feeding her the ball. Once again, into the net. And a six nothing lead for the Big Reds. And unable to handle that serve. And we're seeing a couple Big Reds now just rattling off a couple great serving runs. 
There's keeping possession. Obviously, the one to talk about right now is Miranda Door. She started this game and has since won seven straight points and nothing much but small talk in that huddle right now. They're happy with the way they're playing. Can't say the same thing for the Chieftains. Head coach Jeff LaPratt. Again, playing the ball into the net and just the inability to handle the serves from Port here on high. It's been a tough game for them. A tough match if it keeps up. And the Big Reds, as you can hear, the energy just even from the huddle. They're fired up. And you're going to be when you're playing this way. So a win today would actually tie them in the division. Both teams would move to two and three in the Mac Blue. Nice play out of the timeout by the Utica Chieftain, but they send it sailing. Nice design play though. That's what they've been trying to do and that's what they're gonna continue to do. And you gotta think if they eventually get on the same page, that they're going to start showing up. Watching them in warm-ups are a lot better team than what they've shown thus far. Erica Himmel now serving after their first point. But Harville with a nice strike and wins the point and serve right back for the Big Reds. That being said, the Big Reds are not making many mistakes. They are taking taking advantage of every mistake the Chieftains are making and making very few of their own. And that's why they're dominating so well in this game. And once again, we see another serve that the Chieftains is unable to handle, this time off the hand of Madison Easton. So now 10 to one. Another strong serve, that one a little too long. So the serve will go back to Utica. And it will go to Natalie Harms. Unable to dig that one up. Nice serve by Harms. Harville on the diving effort. Houston's going to set this one over. Utica scrambling. They need to send this. Davis set, and then Doerr striking from the back row. Put a nice strike on that. And just kind of missed contact with that right there. Good positioning. Just couldn't follow through on Harville up the middle. Kind of laughing that one off right now. And that one played into the net. Tough play for the Big Reds. And the Chieftains are starting to creep back in this one. Back within five. Kilboss is going to have an opportunity. That one set a little too hard, prevented a big smash that the Utica Chieftains wanted. And back paddling for that one and unable to really get control of it. Back to the Big Reds for the serve. Savannah Aaron subbing in to serve. Up 11 to five here in game number two. Again, taking the first game 25 to 15, but really makes it sound a lot closer than it actually was. All big rides. Strike on the near side by Jessica Lodge, but it goes long. Serve off the side of her heart. They're going to have to scramble just to get this one back in play. Meanwhile, nice play set up for Harville. She sends that one long. Nice play by Easton and, and Easton and Goodwin set up that play for Harville. That one into the net and tough play. 
Other teammates didn't even see it. Door was the only one there for the attempt. And now it's a 12 to seven lead, Port Huron High. Kill boss with nice play at the net. Nice dig by the Chieftains. Another strike by Lodge. Kill boss poking it over. Great strike from the back row. That's Natalie Sahoski. Right up the middle, deflected at the net, and then Harville got a chance to strike it. Long volley now, and nice play, just dropping it in. Jessica Lodge putting some finesse on it. Danielle Kaschalk now serving. Wise decision there, good win. Looked like she wanted to go up and put a good strike on that ball at the net. Saw it was going out of bounds. Wade and dropped just out of bounds. Tough serve by Harville. In this angle, it almost looked like he was going out of bounds. Played by the Utica Chieftains. That's going to be a point for the Big Reds. Now up 14 to 8. And Harville was the one that went on a huge serving run in game number one. That was out of bounds. And Coach a little upset on that play. Kind of tough to see from that angle, especially he was kind of ob obscured from my angle by Harville diving for it. Like she kind of made the decision mid-dive to not go for it. But line judge was on the far side. He would have had a good view of it. He called it out. Nice strike, and that was ruled as out as well. And my view was also obstructed from that one, but... Coach now saying twice in a row. And he's very happy that that serve was called out. <laughs> Coach Jeff LaPratt getting a little heated on the sideline. Set up for kill boss on the far side. Away from the net makes it a tougher strike. Just couldn't get it over the net. Now 16-10, Big Red's lead. As Jessica Lodge is back to serve. Easton sets it up for kill boss. Big play up the middle. Door's there to set it. Now good win. Door puts a strike into it. Good defense by Door and Goodwin. That one's going to sail along. That's going to bring back Lindsay Kilboss. She's really one of the better players as well on the big reds. Nice save there by Easton and Kilboss. And Harville coming over to complete it. And then the ball gets caught in the net for the Chieftains. So a nice rally to keep that point. But well, Gilmas only a sophomore. We're seeing a lot of playing time as a sophomore. A couple years of volleyball still to come. That one sails wide. And another point for the Big Reds. Now up 19 to 10. Nice play at the net by Utica. That's Erica Himmel. Caught the Big Reds out of position, just kind of dropped that little floater in there. Zahowski now, first serve into the net. So ball in point instantly goes back to the Big Reds. And Brittany Goodwin 
will serve. Goodwin's also the sophomore, also one of the sophomores on the team. Especially seeing a lot of minutes. Really one of the better players in the bright future with those two leading the way. I see the score 20 to 13 as Leanna Boldy serves. Nice dig by Harvell, set up for the far side for Easton. And just unable to connect on the smash attempt. And once again, we're seeing Utica Chieftains is allowed to become, come back in this game late. Not a huge threat, but down six. We're here on high, got to put a stop to it. And they're going to get four hits there as that one unable to clear the net. So Boldy trying to rack up some points at the line. Once again, Easton struggling. And now within four. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see a timeout from Megan Mitchell soon. That serve into the net is definitely going to help the momentum. And brings him within four games from ending game number two. And they'll sub in Sidney Gregasevich. And first serve into the net. So tough break in that tough break there, bringing one of their better servers. So 21-17, Big Red still lead, but the Chieftains come back alive in this game as Himmel serves. Easton puts a good strike on that one. Far side of that, deflected at the net. Nice play by Easton, and that was whistled. There we go. It was whistled in, okay. I believe that was the right call. I wasn't doubting the call there. I just didn't see the, the signal from the, the judge. Wasn't a very enthusiastic one. Set right up the middle. And able to power at home, Melissa Harville. And now 22 18. And we'll see if Easton can put this game away with her serves. We have a timeout. So while we got a second, we'd like to remind our viewers, our viewers you need a copy of this or any other CPHS 6 program for a small fee by calling 984-6621. Again, that's 984-6621. There we see the score there. 22 Big Reds, 18 the Utica Chieftains. Game number two, again, again best two out of, best <laughs> three out of five. Games go up to 25, win by two. So Easton's going to come out of the timeouts with the serve. And hopefully try to put this one away. The Big Reds kind of let the Chieftains back in this one. We're running away with game two. Just like even their game one score, 25 to 15. Big Reds played a lot better than that score represents. Kind of let him in late. But Easton now two points away. More Big Reds winning game number two, and that serve's going to help. Himmel tried to make a play on it. Nice serve. And Easton now with game point. That one just barely out. Near sideline, tried to paint that back corner. Points will go to Utica. 
24-19. Big Red still on game point. And nice setup for Harville right up the middle, and that's something they wanted. Deflected by the Chieftains, so they're gonna have to get this over. Nice, nice job scrambling to make that play up. And it looks like once again they're gonna set up Harville right over the middle, this time with a little bit of touch, and it drops in. So Melissa Harville, and that does it for game two, 25-19. Big Reds win. We'll be back for game three in just a moment here on CPHS 6. All right, now we're back with game three. It's a nice matchup between the Port Huron High Big Reds and the visiting Utica Chieftains. Again, both these Mac Blue teams and the Big Reds have looked strong through the first two games, winning game one 25 to 15 and taking game two 25 to 19. And really hasn't looked even that close. Seen a lot of unforced errors and inability to handle the serves of the Big Reds. Chieftains get one back there, and now we're tied up at one. But again, this game would tie them in the league score. So, in the Mac Blue score anyway, so it is an important game. Both teams not having particularly great seasons, but always good to show up against a conference rival. And nice play up the middle there by Melissa Harville. She's had an all-around great game today. And that will send Easton back to serve with a two-to-one lead. And you really got to credit just the Big Reds play today, just to mistake free as that one sends wide. They have not made many mistakes. They haven't been overly aggressive, but they've let Utica really be the one to force the airs. And that one sends wide on the serves. But they've been, well, Big Reds in general have been really good serving today. Gone on quite a few rolls. kind of keeping their serve and letting the Chieftains make the mistakes. Nice dig there by Easton. And anytime there's a long rally, you see the Big Reds just keep it alive. They're not looking to absolutely destroy it. Tried to strike that one from the back row. Tough play. Sahoski. And that'll be a point for the Big Reds as they lead four to two. Again, game three, so this would be the clinching game and a sweep for Port here on high. Play right of the middle for Harville, deflected at the net, I believe, by Utica, so it will be a point for the Big Reds. Savannah Aarons back to serve. Reds up five to two. Almost dropped that one in. Catching Utica off guard. Nice opportunity for the Big Reds to set up that play. Definitely an opportunity for the spike. Goodwin tried to drop one in there. This time they'll go up strong with Harville. That one painted the back line. Easton thought about playing it, but tough to tell from that position and lets it go by and paints the back line. So now we'll have Jessica Lodge, and as we mentioned, the freshman on the team, and she's played well tonight. The Gred struggling, got to get this one over door with a nice strike to get him back on track. Harville on that one just missed the back line. So 5-4, Big Red still lead. That one played in the net will be all tied up at five. So two freshmen on this Chieftain team as that one sends wide. The 
Big Reds regain the lead six to five. With Melissa Harville serving. Whistle here. It's gonna be a point for Port here on high. And unable to get to that serve. Kill boss goes up strong. Not sure if that was deflected by Utica or just the net. Nice strike from the back row by Lodge. The Red's able to play it. And once again, Chieftain's caught. Trying to play that ball up to their front line. And just sending it a little bit too far and into the net. It becomes a, it's hard to dig that ball out of the net, especially to get a solid strike on it. Sahoski now serving, and that will be an ace. I think Dorr just didn't get a good read on that. The Reds still up one. It's eight to seven here, game three. That serve short into the net, make it eight eight. Or correction now, nine to seven. That was bad mental math by myself. <laughs> nice tap at over the net. And now Utica's struggling. Just get that ball back over. And going up strong for the block at the net. Good win. Keeping the play alive is Utica. A nice original block. It was That was Heath at the center. Nice strike from the back row. Goodwin tries to drop it in there. Utica has to dig it out of the net and unable to do so. So nice overall volley. Nice play at the net by Heath and by Goodwin. Both had their own merits there. And once again, the Big Reds just keeping the volley alive until they eventually win. Just outlasting, once again, Heath at the net. And then Easton, just seconds later. So the Big Reds protecting the net right now. Killboss back to serve. He pops it up to Goodwin. Goodwin plays it down. Strike from the back row. Sahoski. That one goes wide. Miscommunication along the back row there as who's going to play that one. So now the Big Red's off to a 13 to 7 lead. And Killboss keeps going strong with their serve. Kind of lofted and another kind of missed opportunity. Had a good opportunity to possibly set that one up and set, set Utica up for a nice play at the net. And that's what they've been trying to do. This hasn't worked very well for him today. And instead of setting that ball, just sent it into the net and not really setting up anything for a smash. And we see a timeout co called by Jeff LaPratt, head coach for the Utica Chieftains. And the coaches definitely know that this is a division game, how important that is. And the Big Reds find themselves up seven. So back underway, Killboss serving. Nice play at right out of the timeout. They attacked in that aggressively. Nice dig by Port here on high. And once again, able to put away. Great job staying with it. Erica Himmel. Two nice strikes on the ball there. And great play coming out of the timeout by the Chieftains.
Reds just doing a lot better job setting up their players at the net, just like they did there for Easton. A lot of times we see Goodwin right in the middle of it, one of the always setting the ball. Pretty much all she warms up during practice. Setting up her teammates at the net. Now back serving has a 16 to 8 lead. Here, game number three, the clinching game. Nice dive by Harville. Keep that one alive. Easton, a little bit away from the net, made that a tougher shot. And that one sails long. So we'll go to Himmel. She's one of the Utica players who's actually had a pretty good game. Big block at the net. And then bounced off the ceiling. And that's what really backfired for the Big Reds. But actually, I believe it was touched by Utica, so a point for the Big Reds. 17 to 9 they lead. Nice play at the net. I believe that was Demore Davis and Caitlin Heath. Now point for Utica, 17-10. As Natalie Harms will serve. Davis sets that one over, set it up to the far side, and that's a lot of what we saw in game number one, being, feeding the freshman Jessica Lodge on that far side. When they've done that, they've done well. well they really haven't been able to do much. The Big Reds have been controlling in that, just like they did there. Nice set by Davis. And once again, they feed Melissa Harville. Really having an outstanding game today is Harville. And now Easton will serve 18 to 11. They lead here in game three, looking for Three straight games, trying to win this one in three straight. Nice play once again. Harville right up the middle, deflected by Utica. It comes down on their side. And Harville's one of the leaders they really look to. One of the senior players that they have for Port Huron High. Definitely an important part of their offense and just all around play. Actually a pretty young team, only three seniors. Nice dig by another one of the seniors there, Madison Easton. That one unable to clear the net, point for Utica. Now 19-13, Big Red still lead. Danielle Kaschalk will serve. And that one in. As Port Huron High watches it sail. I shouldn't say sail, not sail that long. Into that back line. Once again, though, just a great play set up by the Big Reds. And they'll celebrate after that one. But that one sailed just a bit long. Or correction, I believe there was another call on the play because I believe that was out, but it's going to be a point for the Big Reds, and that's going to send in Savannah Aarons to serve. First serve into the net, so we'll go back to the Chieftains. Chieftains trying to force game four. With Jessica Lodge back to serve, down five. Once again, set up right for Harville over the middle, and the Chieftains are just struggling. Let them miscommunication this time on the Big Reds. They recover nicely, and Harville almost drops it in on them. And 
Just swing and a miss. The hands came undone. Demore Davis just watched that ball fly between her hands. Tough break there. You don't see that all that often, but. Jessica Lodge will serve once again, set up right up the middle for Harville. And giving all the credit to Harville, but really setting her up on almost every play with a nice set is Brittany Goodwin. And now Harville back to serve, trying to win this one. 21-16 as that one paints the back corner. Nice serve by Harville. Definitely, if there's a player of the game award to give today, it would go to Melissa Harville. Played great all around, especially at the net, and we've seen it at the serve. So you're going to roll a couple times with her serves. And now trying to take this one home. Four hits there. Now the score 23 16. That one drops in. So now game and match point 24 16. And unable to handle the serve. Let's see if the Chieftains can recover. They do get it back over. Harville now good one with the set. Going up strong for the kill is Killboss. And that will do it for game three, 25-16. So the Big Reds win it in three straight. 25-15, 25-19, and 25-16 to take a 3-0 game lead and win the match. We'd like to thank you all for joining us here on CBHS 6. I'm Carl Staffors. Good night.